Dang it, Mary Pearson. You know I don't like romanticy. When's book two come out? Managed to listen to an advanced listening copy of The Courting of Bristol Keats. Normally, I am not a romanticy fan. That is not a secret. Uh, but yeah, this one, this one I need book two for. That, that's all I'm going to say to you. Anyhow, so Bristol Keats, young woman, uh, second born of the three girls, and she is the glue that holds her family together. Since she's been old enough to know any better, they have always just upheaved. I know it's not a word, but but I'm making it a word. Uh, packed up in the middle of the night and moved every few months. No explanation. The girls, of course, have their ideas like, you know, oh, we're on the run from the mob or something. Because, you know, you, you got to fill in something when you don't know what's really going on. Uh, but now I think she's like 20 at the beginning of this book. Life has gotten a lot more difficult. She has lost both of her parents in separate accidents. And she is kind of, even though she's not the oldest, she's the one that is keeping everybody together. Her sister had gone off to college, her older sister, and has come back to try to help out the family. Uh, she had left at one point, uh, but came back when her mother died, and now her dad's dead too. And these are not spoilers. This is This is the beginning of the book. I don't spoil. You know this. So what's going on? She's doing, she's working as much as she can. She's trying to keep, you know, the bills paid. She's got a younger sister, uh, you know, trying to get her through school and stuff uh, just so that she has as, as normal of life as possible. But she's got this aunt that she's never heard of, uh, says she's the aunt, her father's aunt, but parents have never talked to her about this lady. And she keeps sending her letters, uh, basically asking her to meet. She's got some apparently very expensive artwork she'd like to donate to the family. Uh, her dad was an artist. And just just to meet him and to get to know them. Uh, seems a little sketchy. Uh, older sister definitely thinks it's sketchy, but she's a little high-strung. Even the younger sister, uh, Harper. Ooh, I hope I said that right. <laughs> I think it's Harper. Uh, I listened to the audiobook, sorry. Uh, and she's even like, no, this is this is not uh, not cool. But when you're running out of money and time and you've got nobody else to rely on, uh, eventually you get a little desperate. So she finally goes and decides to meet, see what's going on, see if it's legit. And yeah, uh, life gets even more interesting from then. From there because imagine if you found out that all of your fairy tales and children's stories were, were were all true and that there's there is another realm full of fairy folk that may or may not be related to you and your family and everybody is not who you thought they were so she gets herself stuck into uh, keeping a promise that she made to the fairy folk not knowing what she was getting into of course but you can't break a promise with a fae. And now she's part of an army, at least one of their armies. And of course, this is romanticy. She's caught the eye of the king. We know that's going to be in there. Some of you are reading this because that's in there. I'm not judging. I'm just letting you know it's in there. Um, but there's enough of the other rest of the story, fantasy, the, the plots, the twists, the, the lies... <laughs> The schemes. The, yeah, even as somebody who's not a huge romanticy fan, I enjoyed this book. I am totally waiting for book two to come out. Mary, there better be a book two. Uh, <laughs> because I, I got to know what's going on next. Uh, not going to tell you too much else without giving anything away. But the pacing of this book, the stories within the stories, the plots behind the plots... Definitely worth reading, even if, like me, you're not a huge Romanticy fan. And if you are a Romanticy fan, you, you gotta pick it up. I gave this four stars, and I don't like Romanticy. Um, so, some of you may consider this a five. I, I would not judge you for that. I would not have any complaints. Four star for me, I would have no qualms telling anybody I know to pick this up and read it. 
And uh, yeah, now we're just waiting for book two. Anyhow, this drops November 12th, and if you want, there is a flat iron special edition. It's one of those uh, stenciled lettering. It is gorgeous. Uh, one of those ones where you probably are going to be hard-pressed not to flip the book around so the pages are sticking out. We'll see where it goes from there, but I, I need a date. Not, not that kind of date. I need to know when book two is dropping, Mary. <laughs> All right, everybody have a good one.